Welcome back. In this video, we're going to create section three of our layout, which is the companies. So let's get started and create something similar like what we have here on the layout. So on the HTML, we're going to start that section. So I'm going to start with a comment, start the companies. So here we have that section with a class with an ID of companies and a class of companies. It will have a container. And a row. So here we're going to start with that heading we have trusted by companies like so I'm going to copy so here we have h4 with a class of font with bold and a class of lead and some margin so I'm going to use mb3 margin bottom 3 and then the text tab and they have it so I'm going to save so let's see from the browser results so far so this is our text so we need it at the center so I'm going to add on the row text center class so we have the text center save let's see and there you have it you can see we have our text at the center next i'm going to add the heading line from the layout here you can see we have a line below the heading or the display and actually these are two lines so we have the first line which is content before and the second line which is content after so let's work on that so on typography i'm going to add that class first i'm going to start with a comment which is heading line The class I'm going to call it heading line. So this one is for the first line. So we have content before. And then we have the content. And then I'm going to set the width for the first line to 10 rem. And then the height, I'm going to set that to 0 0.1 rem then i'm going to set the display to block then some background color i'm going to use primary and then i'm going to duplicate this class for the content after so duplicate and then here we need after so this one is for the second line or the line below the first line so i'm going to save and then you're going to add that class below the heading and then i'm going to save let's see from the browser so we have the lines let me add some margin so that you can be able to see it properly so we have margin bottom five save let's see so now you can see we have our first line so because they are having the same width so i'm going to change for the second which i'm going to set to 2 rem and then for the width height i'm going to set that to 0 0.2 save let's see and now you can see we have the line the first one and the second one so here we need to set some margin So for the second line, I'm going to set some padding at the top. So we have padding top. I'm going to use 0 0.5 rem. And then I'm going to save. Let's see. So now you can see we have the two lines. The second one is a bit has a higher height than the first one. So we need them at the center. So here we're going to add. So I'm going to select the two. And then add the margin. 
that is set the margin to zero auto for horizontal centering and then i'm going to save let's see and there you have it now you can see we have our line at the center so for the second line i'm going to add some margin at the bottom margin bottom to one rem save let's see so and there you have it next i'm going to add the images or these logos to my project so we have the six logos so here i have a folder called companies you can see the logos are named company one all the way to company six so i'm going to copy the entire folder to my project so copy so i'm going to copy them inside the images folder so on the html we're going to create that content and i'm going to create another container so here we are going to start with a comment which is start the companies content so we have a container class which will have a row and then i'm going to create the six columns which will have the logos so here i'm going to group them so i'm going to use call md4 and then another class or another container for the logos i'm going to call it companies then i'm going to use block element modifier to style that logos so we have the companies and then underscore underscore logo box then we need the images so we have the image and then the source of the images we have the images folder and then the companies folder which have the logos so if you check here again from the folder you'll see the company the logos are named company one all the way to company six and they are in png so here we have to write that company minus dollar sign to assign each value and then dot png then we need an alt which will be company dollar sign logo then we need a title so the title will be company again dollar sign logo then we need a class called image fluid for responsive images so we have image fluid so here i'm going to say time six to generate the six columns with the content at once hit tab and there you have it you can see now we have the six columns with the content so let me arrange them properly here and then i'm going to save let's see from the browser so now we have our logos the next step now is to style them so inside the companies.scss file that is the sas file for that section so i'm going to open that and we're going to start by styling this class called companies because this is the container for the content on that section so we have the class companies so here i'm going to start by setting the padding sorry not padding top but padding we're going to use the shorthand for the top zero and then zero and then for the bottom you're going to set that to five frame and then zero for the left and then here we have the companies sorry we have this class remember how we have nested them we have the companies and then underscore underscore logo box so that's how we're going to nest it so we have my underscore underscore logo box because the logo box is the parent container of all the logos that is the images you can see here we have the logo box and then the images so here we're going to set the width so we have we are going to use max width we're going to set that 200 percent 
then you're going to set the height so here i'm going to use 3rm you can change that then you're going to style the image so here you're going to only to set the height so that it can scale to 3rm so i'm going to set the height 200 percent so i'm going to save let's see from the browser and they will have it you can see now we have the images have scaled to the width of the column and the height of that which is 3rm so let's continue styling here so here i'm going to add some margin at the bottom i'm going to use 2rm and then we need some padding i'm going to use 0.5 rem and then we have text align center and then not forgetting we need to set the position to relative i'm going to save let's see from the browser and there you have it now you can see they have scaled so we need to add some shadow on the columns you can see from the layout here we need some shadow so on the html i'm going to select all the classes the logo box and then i'm going to add the shadow small so we have that class shadow small so i'm going to save let's see and now as you can see we have the shadow so the next step now is to make sure that our section is fully responsive across variety of screen devices so i'm going to right click and inspect element so you can see this one is moto g4 a screen width of 360 and the, the logos are screen scaling and fitting nicely in one column so i'm going to check it from another device like an ipad and you can see this is an ipad a screen width of 768 and they are fitting nicely in three columns so i'm going to check it from another device larger than that so we have ipad pro and you can see also uh, they are fitting nicely but here we have so much space that they can fit in one line so to fix that i'm going to add another column for to target large, large devices so i'm going to select all the columns all the classes and then i'm going to add that class or that column that is called lg2 so i'm going to save save let's see so now they are fitting in one line so i'm going to change the screen width and here you can see again they are fitting in nicely in one line so i'm going to close the inspector and now as you can see we have the logos fitting nicely in one line as we what we have here on the layout so the next thing is to make sure that once you hover the logos they turn to grayscale so let's create that hover effect so on the companies where we have the image we have the hover so we have the filter property and then grayscale so I'm going to set that to 120. Save. Let's see. So now if you try to hover the logos, you see they're turning to grayscale. So I think we're done with that part. We can move on to the next step.